Welcome back. Explosions ripped through Damascus, Syria overnight. Israeli warplanes have reportedly struck the Syrian capital for the second time in three days. The attacks may signal an escalation in Israel's involvement in Syria's civil war. To discuss the ramifications of this, Daniel Pipes, founder of the Middle East Forum, joins us from Dallas, Texas. Daniel, thanks for taking time to speak with us today. Glad to be with you. Um, for all intents and purposes, it looks like Israel has uh, gotten involved in the Syrian conflict. Um, what does this mean for us here in the West? In of itself, I don't know how important this is. What it is is the Israelis signaling very clearly to the Assad government that there are red lines, that there are steps the Assad government cannot take without retribution by the Israelis. The puzzling thing is, why is the Assad government doing this? It has enough on, it, on its hands, but it is doing it. Let's hope it gets the message and doesn't continue to do this. That is to say, to send chemical weapons or ballistic weapons to Hezbollah in, in Lebanon. Uh, let's hope the Assad regime understands that it can't take these steps without actions by Israel. But I don't think this means a, a deep involvement by the Israelis in the Syrian civil war. Daniel, the uh, Syrian regime has said that they will deal with this in a manner that they see fit, I'm paraphrasing here. Um, if they do launch an attack on Israel, would that not mean that the U.S. and its allies would have to get involved in the Syrian conflict? Not necessarily. The Israelis have taken care of themselves vis-a-vis -vis Syria and the other neighbors of Israel for some 60 years now. So I don't think it necessarily means Western involvement. It does mean Israeli involvement, which is the last thing the Assad regime needs to have another front, another enemy. So, uh, you know, I can't say it's not going to happen, but it certainly would be an irrational step by Bashar al-Assad to take, to confront the Israelis, to take on a new enemy. He, he is going down, as it is now, step by step, month after month. He is weaker and weaker. So the last thing he needs is an active Israeli opponent. Why would the Syrians want to arm Hezbollah at this time? The the role of Hezbollah primarily uh, is to help the Syrian government today. But secondarily, it has a huge arsenal of rockets and missiles that it, it can at will direct against Israel. This can be useful for the Syrians, but even more useful for the Iranians. In case the Israelis should attack the Iranian nuclear infrastructure, one of the threats that Iran holds over Israel is that there can be a barrage of rockets and missiles that make life in Israel quite unpleasant. So that is a strategic asset of Iran. Daniel, it, uh, well, since you brought up Iran, let's talk about Iran. Uh, are they the puppet master behind all of this? The Iranians are not the puppet masters in the sense they cannot tell Hezbollah, and much less the Syrian regime, what to do. They are important. They are a source of weapons, money, training, morale, moral support, and the like for both of them. And in particular, the Iranian regime is critical in supporting uh, Bashar al-Assad today. He could well be in much worse shape or even gone if it weren't for the Iranian support he's had. If it does bear out that the, the, the attack on Syria or the rocket launches onto, into Damascus were from the Israelis, as most people expect it will be, and Syria does launch an attack on Israel, what would that mean for the region? It makes it all the more likely that the Assad regime will go down quickly. Uh, it is, as I said before, on its way out. And having another enemy will make that all the quicker. Uh, and that means that the Turkish, Qatari, and Saudi-backed forces that are fighting the regime will take over more readily. And that is not good news. Uh, you know, the trouble is there's, there's, there are two main parties in Syria the regime and the opposition, and both of them are abhorrent. Uh, and therefore, I come to the conclusion that we'd rather have them continue to fight each other uh, than for one side to prevail over the other. Daniel, last question for you. It has to be a quick one. Um, you mentioned Turkey. Is it possible that Turkey is supplying enough arms to the rebels that they will effectively end this war uh, sooner rather than later? The Turks are very heavily involved in terms of arms, in terms of providing a refuge and the like for the rebels. Yes, Turkey is critical to the rebel effort, and now I can't give you a prediction how long that's going to take, but unless something dramatic changes, the rebels will win. 
Daniel, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks for this. All right. That was Daniel Pipes, and he's the founder of the Middle East Forum. He joined us live from Dallas, Texas.